Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday, September the 8th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 9, the second aim continued. As tertiaries, we are prepared not only to speak out for social justice and international peace, but to put these principles into practice in our daily lives, cheerfully facing any scorn or persecution to which this may lead. Lord, without you our labor is wasted, but with you all who are weak can find strength. Pour your spirit on the Society of St. Francis. Give your laborers a pure intention, patient faith, sufficient success on earth, and the joy of serving you in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our refuge and strength. O come, let us worship. The Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 50. The Lord, the God of gods, has spoken. He has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God reveals himself in glory. Our God will come and will not keep silent. Before him there is a consuming flame, and round about him a raging storm. He calls the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before me, my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the righteousness of his cause, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you, for I am God, your God. I do not accuse you because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls, nor he goat out of your pens. For the beasts of the forest are mine, and the herds in their thousands upon the hills. I know every bird in the sky, and the creatures of the fields are in my sight. If I were hungry I would not tell you, for the whole world is mine, and all that is in it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and make good your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall honor me. But to the wicked God says, Why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips, since you refuse discipline and toss my words behind your back? When you see a thief, you make him your friend, and you cast your lot in with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to a lie. You are always speaking evil of your brother and slandering your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I kept still, and you thought that I am like you. I have made my accusation. I have put my case in order before your eyes. Consider this well, you who forget God, lest I rend you, and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers me sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, but to those who keep my way I will show the salvation of God. Blessed are you, God of glory. You call us to give up all our vain attempts to reach you and to come before you in thanksgiving for your great salvation, shown to us in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now when Jesus came, 
he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha, so when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, but Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying in private, The teacher is here and calling for you. And when she heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. For Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Iraq and Iran, Taiwan, China, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for Queen Elizabeth. We pray for her health. We pray for the Governor General, the Prime Minister and Members of Parliament, our Premier and Members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, and all in authority. The Lord help them to serve this people according to his holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people. And we pray for our children and young people as they return to school, to kindergarten, elementary school, high school, community college or university. The Lord guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick. We pray for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, those awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. The Lord deliver them and keep them in his love. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth remembering most especially this day those among us who will suffer from the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness. The Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. We most especially pray this day for our leaders, for Bishop William, we pray for travel mercies as he returns from the paw. 
for assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our Acting National Indigenous Bishop Sidney, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray this morning for the province of Asia Pacific, for Victoria and Tasmania region. And we pray for Diane, Jonathan, David, Thomas, Gregorio, Mark, Phil, Dominic, Benjamin, Judith, Becky, Jeff, Carmen, Claudio, Claudio, Anna, Ramon, Terence, Larry, Bill, Diane, and Elizabeth. And we pray for our companions, Randy, Jackie, John, Samuel, and Robert. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and one others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that richly bearing the fruit of good works, we may by you be richly rewarded through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our blessed lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.